The masses of us don't have a clue about our true human identity. We know not who we are and we definitely don't know whose we are. We have been conditioned and made to believe that we are something and someone that we are not. Most of us have not a clue that we are love, which is why I speak to your spirit now. I speak to your spirit now and I say to you that you, you are love. Yes, love my beloved because indeed you be loved by God as God created you in love, with love, because of love, and for the sole purpose of love. And so, my beloved, one created by God, one who has been made to question your existence, your purpose for being for quite a long, long while, I speak to your spirit now when I say to you conscientiously, intently, and emphatically that you are love. Love is your divine birthright, your inheritance, your legacy to keep passing on and on. And although no, life for you as Langston Hughes knew, ain't been no crystal stair, but still climb you have, my beloved, steadily striving for the top, striving against many obstacles and barriers, some even intentionally placed in your way to block and even to try to stop the divinely brilliant being that you are. And the Lord only knows what you have for generations carried in your soul. For even when situations and conditions looked totally bleak and felt oh so dreary, there was that something within that would not allow you to completely give in. And so you kept on pushing just as you kept on rising, rising like Maya Angelou's phenomenal woman. You kept on coming, coming like Sterling Brown's strong men. You kept on coming back to what is real about who you are despite the many odds against you deep, deep, deep down inside while hoping and believing you were able to keep on feeling just as you were able somehow to keep on seeing what many in society were trying to deny as well as ceaselessly trying to hide wanting you to instead internalize and live from worldly shame rather than being the joy and the pride of God's eye. Which is exactly why I have taken the time to stop by to speak to your spirit and to remind you until you yourself remember that you, my beloved, that you and you and you and you, you are love. And thus, it is my prayer that you are able to totally and completely hear that no matter what in life you've experienced, gone through, have done, or that which has been wrongly and immorally been done to you, you are forever as you have always been, sacred, divine, and oh so preciously dear. Why? Because you, beloved one created by God, lovingly created in God's own image and likeness. You remain unconditionally loved because you, you are just that. You, you are loved.